people and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video that's gonna be an empties. I am just gonna go through the things that I have gone through. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I have used up, what I'm done with, stuff that I'm not bringing, moving. Uh, I think this is going up on a Friday. Let me double check. Is this going up on a Friday? I think this is going up on a Friday instead of a new makeup releases because as you're seeing this, the studio no longer exists. I've already packed my studio. So this is going up instead of a new makeup releases. I did talk about that last week. I will have a video tomorrow as well because we are in the middle of Vlogmas. And if you do want to see some more makeup content, don't forget to subscribe because I will have a lot of videos in the future. Just Maybe not on the 26th, but please do subscribe if you like beauty content because yeah, I do love uploading. It feels a little weird like talking that far in the future because as I'm filming this, obviously the studio is still here. But as you're seeing this, the studio is gone and I have packed the studio down and we are on almost on our way to be moving. So I thought I'd do an empties because I had a full bag of things. I have it here in front of me. I have a full bag of things, uh, just stuff that I have either used up or I have like a couple of uses left. So I know I'll go through them before we move. So I just wanted to go through it and show you my empties. Uh, these are gonna be skincare, uh, some body care, I think. There's gonna be a lot of makeup items here, just stuff that I have gone through. If you're missing new makeup releases, I'm sorry I wasn't able to film it because I just, it's not possible. It's not possible. I hope you have enjoyed vlogmas and if this is the first video like I said please do subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of makeup content in the future uh, there's gonna be one video tomorrow as well just so you know let's just start and go through this let's let's just start and go through this let's not make it more complicated than it is I am having a neutral look today I saw my friend Heather Austin having a silver and brown look yesterday as I'm filming this so I wanted to uh, have one myself I used the uh, Saga of Freya palette the one that is wow that's helpful the one that is double-sided it looks like this. That is the palette that I use with this look here. I also have one of the uh, Unearthly Cosmetics um, Eva Satin Lipsticks. I am gonna film a... Um, I, I'm gonna film a video where I swatch those today as well. That is my plan and I don't know when it's coming out, but it's gonna be soon. Okay, let me talk about two things that I am almost out of. That I have, I have so little left of this one, so I am gonna be using this one up before I move. This is the Bioderma uh, micellar water. It's called micellar water? My, micellar water. That's how I pronounce it in English. So yeah, I don't have that much left. It's one of those that has the, uh, this one on the top. I use this as if I have a lot of makeup on. Like if I have a full beat, I will use this one as a first, like just to get the eye makeup to start like removing before I go in with oil cleanser and then I will do it a cleanser afterwards. So I, literally this is my first step of a three step cleansing routine. If I don't have a lot of makeup on I will either just use this one in a cleanser or just an oil remover in a cleanser depending on how I feel that day. But yeah I'm almost out of this one. Oop, I really think it's good. I do have an unopened micellar water that I am bringing uh, when we are moving. This one I'm gonna use up and I'm gonna get rid of. Another thing that I am almost done with, where did I put it? Hello? Oh here it is. Here it is, it snuck down. I have like a couple of uses left and this is the Pixi Rose Flash Balm and I'm gonna make it a mission to use this one up so I don't have to bring a small one like this uh, when we're moving. I do really love this one. This is a, it's called an instant skin booster. I've called this a Cinderella cream. Basically like you, you put it on and instantly you have that, you know, when the fairy godmother is giving her her outfit. <laughs> like that's how it feels for the skin. It instantly feels plumper and smoother and just, I really like this as a, yeah, a flash bomb. Have you ever tried the, what is that one called from Clarin? The, it's also called a flash bomb or something. I don't remember, but this is a similar one. It does smell of roses. I have a little left. It smells of fresh roses. I don't think that this smells very artificial rose, but it does smell of roses. I like the scent of roses. If you don't like the scent of roses, you're not gonna like this. I like this as a moisturizer before I go in with my foundation. That is why I actually keep this one in my makeup room. Really love this one before foundation. I am wearing it today before foundation. I just really enjoy how this feels on the skin. I have, I think this is my third one. I really, I've been using this as a prep step for my, like, for my makeup for years. I don't don't use a primer I use this one I think it smooths the skin it plumps the skin I do have to let it sink in a little bit though otherwise there could be not pilling but like it doesn't like makeup doesn't go over this immaculate if you don't let it like go in for like to the skin for a couple of minutes but I really love this one it says moisturizer primer mask oh yeah you can use a thick layer as a mask and then wash it off but moisturizer primer yeah that's how I use it 
It's a really nice product. I will link the things down below. I'll also link the things that I have on my face in case you are interested in any of these items. Um, I'm, I'm liking the look. It's, it's very neutral for being me, but... I'm kind of enjoying it. I, I blame Heather Austin. I have two foaming cleansers that I've used up. One of them is this is this is the Selfless by Hiram Santella and Green Tea Daily Gel Cleanser. I like this one, but the packaging broke. You can see how disgusting this looks because the packaging broke. So I this one, the packaging broke literally the first time I opened it and after a couple of times it fell off completely so I haven't been able to close this so I had to like store it upside down it's been a little bit of a annoyance I really like this product but the the packaging wasn't amazing I've never heard of anyone else having this problem so it could just be that like maybe mine was a bit faulty or I was too violent with it who knows let's be honest but I really like this product. Am I gonna repurchase? I don't know. Am I gonna repurchase? Was I that in love with it? I don't know if I was as in love with it so I'd repurchase. Now that I think of it. I feel like I, I pay more attention to my cleansing balms than I do to the final step cleanser from Gun Mask. But I liked it though. I thought it was really nice. I had, It didn't make my skin feel stripped and it did feel my skin make my skin feel clean. So it was the perfect balance of making you feel clean but not stripped. This one I did not like though. This is the Your Leak Radiant Skin Foaming Cleanser. I don't know where... I think I got... Like all of these things I bought except... I think I've gotten this one in like a PR package from like or a subscription box. I like I don't know if I'm gonna be honest how I got this one. This one does strip my skin and I have normal skin, I do not have dry skin, I do not have oily skin, but for me this it's just I don't like the feeling of this one. It feels a little bit too drying uh, on my skin. This is something that I actually used up today. I used the last one of these today. This is the Olaplex number no. 4 and number no. 5 shampoo and conditioner. I Right now I'm using the purple shampoo because they just uh, came out with a purple shampoo if you have blonde hair. My hair is somewhat blonde. I'm trying to keep the brassiness out of it. Love that purple shampoo. I mentioned it in my yearly favorites. I think it's amazing. Definitely try it out if you want to try a purple shampoo because it's the perfect mix of a purple shampoo but not too drying because purple shampoos sometimes can be pretty drying but that one actually is not so I don't think I will be repurchasing the shampoo for that reason because I am using the purple shampoo I try to only wash my hair once a week that is my goal I try to only wash my hair once a week sometimes it's twice a week but I try to keep it at a minimal to like not put too much strain on my blonde hair I think I don't think it's good for either the color or the hair when it's been bleached uh, to wash it too often the conditioner though I will repurchase I really like Olaplex I have not very damaged hair actually to be honest for having bleach my hair but I will say that it does give my hair a little body it makes my hair feel just thicker and like it has more substance it makes it feel smooth and it looks shiny and it just gives it a little body which is something that I really like because I have very fine hair and I do also have hair that becomes a little um, in Sweden we call it electric static it becomes a little static during like the winter months so these together with another like the color wild wow product the one that I talked about in my yearly favorites it's been a really good product for me to keep my hair looking like flowy and bouncy and shiny without being static which is something that I have really been appreciating I have used up a couple of setting sprays I have three setting sprays here two of them are the Slay All Day from Gerard Cosmetics I think these scents are the Mint Chocolate Chip and the Watermelon both of these were sent to me as PR uh, I am affiliated with Gerard Cosmetics I really like the Slay All Day setting sprays my favorite is the Rose one which is the one I have here because again I really like Rose and if you like rose you're really gonna enjoy this one I feel like this one really does set down your makeup and it uh, really does elongate my makeup and it also it's really good for spraying your brushes these small ones are perfect for traveling like so amazingly good for traveling so I've used two of those up and then I've also used up this Kiko Milano one this is the fruit explosion freezing makeup uh, fixer this I've only used to spray my brushes because this one smells like my pony. Listen, if you know, you know, if you know, you know, this one smells like my little ponies. And I told Ricardo, and he's like, that's a scent. It is a scent. It is definitely a scent. And this one definitely smells like my little ponies. So if you were playing with my little ponies when you were a kid and you want to have some nostalgia, definitely check this one out. Uh, like I said, I will link the things down below. I do think that this is still available. 
I don't think I will be repurchasing because like I said I don't want to spray that on my face but it is a very nostalgic uh, scent. Oh, I have two other hair products here. One of them is the R & Co Dry Shampoo. This one is really nice but I like, my favorite product from R & Co is the uh, balloon spray which is the texturizing spray it is so good the only thing I don't like about the balloon spray it is honestly it's so good I will try and remember to link the things that I'm mentioning as favorites that I'm not like showing as well the balloon spray is so amazing to just giving your hair a little volume and a little texture without being sticky it's just so airy and wonderful it gives texture to your hair without making it sticky or like you know frizzy but some like some like texture sprays just makes your hair sticky that one does not this one was really good as well but i still think that patiste is better than this one and it's the same with this one this is the sol de janeiro dry shampoo this one smells great but again it's not the best dry shampoo it really is, I use this as a hair perfume. I still think the Batiste one is better. I'm trying to like see what other options there are. Please let me know if you have a favorite dry shampoo that you would like me to try out. Because like I said, I'm trying to wash my hair once, maximum twice a week. So I do use a little dry shampoo on like day two or three and four and five and six as well. Like if I'm, if I need to, if I need to, maybe not day two, three, four, five, six. That's where I'm like in the dry shampoo, but my hair doesn't really get that greasy and maybe it's because I don't wash it that much. Uh, Sol de Janeiro, lately I did a video on that, was sold to L'Occitane, which has recently become a bit of an MLM. So for me right now, I'm taking a little break from Sol de Janeiro. Just, again, I never cancel brands. I'm just taking a little break to just see where this is going. Like, I, I want to see where this is going. I want to see more statements. I want to see in what direction all of this is going. They are not an MLM, but it seems like their parent company is. Again, I'm not sad though. I love the scent of this. I use this more like a, a, a hair perfume because it smells smells like the bum bum cream but it didn't really do that much in the whole dry shampoo compartment so I used it more as a hair sh like perfume and I don't need a different product for that so basically this was just something that I went through not using it like it was meant to be used because I didn't think it was the best dry shampoo but just using it as like a touch touch up I have two mascaras here. I have the uh, Benefit the Real Magnet Lashes. I didn't, like, I've seen some people really dislike this one. I don't dislike this one. I think this is a nice volumizing mascara. Personally, I like something like this one, the Maybelline Sky High. Uh, this one is a favorite of mine and I need to buy another one. This one is really elongating. And if it's something I've like realized with me like reviewing makeup these past years is that I like long lashes over voluminous lashes. And that's why I haven't really been been loving some of the mascaras that I've seen other people love like the uh, better than sex mascara for example I didn't love that one but it's because it's a voluminizing mascara and I like an elongating mascara so I like this one for elongating and I also like the other benefit mascara the bad gal bang that's also a elongating mascara this one has been nice this is a mascara that I've gone through just as like before I put my false lashes just to get some some color on my lashes before I put falsies on. It's been really good for my lower lashes because sometimes elongating mascaras can make my lashes be very long on the lower lashes so they like touch my skin and just, you know, smudge off. And for that reason, sometimes voluminizing mascaras can be better on my lower lashes. I mean, this is very high maintenance, but yeah, both fine, but this isn't a favorite, but this one I'm gonna repurchase because I like an elongating mascara. I have gone through, or I'm saying I have gone through, I have not gone through. My husband has gone through a Sigma Magic Brush Shampoo. This is the third of the brush shampoos from Sigma that I'm going through. Ooh, there's a cat hair here in the, in the air, like floating around. I love the Sigma Brush Shampoo. My husband has been helping me with uh, cleaning my brushes a bit during this like more busy season because I'm trying, I've been trying to pre-film as much as possible before we move. So he actually used this one up and he was like, I threw it away. I'm like, no. <laughs> so I actually pulled this one out of the trash to put it in my empties because I wanted to let you know that I do get some questions asking, how do I take care of my brushes? This is what I use. I use the Sigma Brush Shampoo, either this one or the one that is a foam because they have one that is a foam as well. Both of them work equally as good this is the one that's the only one I've ever used and I've never had any like any thought of looking for something else because this one works so good it it works for my sponges it works for my natural bristle, bristle brushes and also work for my synthetic bristle brushes so I've really been enjoying this kind of a product and I was gonna purchase a new one but actually got sent a new one as PR which is really amazing because yeah 
that's the one I use. This is my self tanner of choice. This is the Bondi Sands Air, uh, Aerated Self Tanning Foam One Hour Express. This is the one that I have today. I actually use some self. I love this. Or you, this is the one you see <laughs> of my bag. This is the one I used today before I sat down to film. I use this one hour express once a week. I would say I use it on a like a Monday or a Tuesday and then I take a shower after. I usually leave it on for one to two hours and then I have like it just a little tan for the rest of the week. It takes about a week for it to go off. On me, it's so easy to use. It is a foam, it's very easy to spread. And since it is not that super dark, dark, dark one, even if you don't get it perfect, perfect, it doesn't give you like four shades darker. And maybe it's like one, one and a half shade darker. So just a, it's a nice way to get a little bit of color. Maybe you've been on not a two week vacation to the Caribbean. Maybe you just went for a weekend. This is a weekend to the Caribbean. It's so easy to use and I love that you only have to keep it on for an hour or so so that you can put it on in the morning, I drink some coffee, I answer some mails, I take a shower and then I get on with my day. Love it so much. Truly, truly enjoy this one. And also, my skin doesn't smell of self-tanner after this and I think it might be because it's only on for an hour. I'm not 100% sure about that, but yeah, I've really been loving this one and this is for sure my fifth or sixth. I'm not even kidding. I usually don't show Sir, I usually don't show candles and stuff, but I wanted to show you two candles that I have been burning through because I wanted to give you some recommendations of affordable, really good candles that I honestly think are such good quality. Let me start with this one. This is the one from Soul Body and the Colourpop uh, Hocus Pocus collection. It says Soul Body on this one. So this is from the, the sister brand of Colourpop. So I think you will find it on the Colourpop site if you press collections. I will link this down below. But otherwise, I think if they release more uh, candles, it's probably going to be under soul body because that's what it says here. I burned through this. This smells sp like spicy cookies. It smells like spicy cookies and I loved it and it was so good. It burned all the way down. You can see there's nothing on the ends. Very high quality. I didn't have any soot in the air. I didn't have any big high flames from this one. The, the, the scent of this one was throughout this entire room because I burned in here. You can also smell it in the room next to, to this and this is a big, it's a pretty big room and for only being one, what do you call it? In Sweden you would call it veke. I have no idea what it's called in English. Like one of these two lights. It didn't have the three wick. You said call it wick? Three wick candle? One wick candle? Because this is a one wick candle. That's right. Right? I think that's correct. Look at me learning. Learning. Learning with Angie. Really enjoyed this one. If Colourpop releases more candles, I will be the first bitch to jump on that because this was very high quality. Really enjoyed it. I got sent this as PR, but I'm gonna tell you next time I do an order from Colourpop, I'm ordering another one. I'm ordering another one in another company that does really nice candles and this is from H&M Home. I don't know if you knew but H&M has homeware. I should not be telling you this because you're gonna buy all of the pretty stuff before I'm able to move. <laughs> don't sell out on stuff. H&M Home is, you know that Scandi like interior decor that's been very in lately? H&M has that to a T. It's so beautiful. All the things from H&M Home is just so beautiful. And this scented candle is called Mahogany. And it's also the scented candle that you see here. That one. That's also Mahogany. Mahogany smells like a sexy man in the best way possible. If you like those more, like, sexy, like, masculine perfumes but made into home scents, you will love this. This is so potent, this is so wonderful and so affordable. H&M Home has, before it's only been available in Sweden, but I know that you can purchase H&M Home online at H&M US if you're living in US. And if you're living in another country that has H&M, check their website because I'm here to tell you, H&M Home is so beautiful, so beautiful, so wonderful. Okay, let me sort this out. Actually, FedEx is delivering a very exciting package to me now, so <laughs> I'm taking a break, but for you, one sec. Oh my God, I really thought that that was gonna be such an exciting package, and it wasn't, so. This is one dis disappointed bitch. Let's talk about some skincare. I did use up the Juvia Skin Let's Melt It Off Cleansing Balm. Um, this, this is so, such a little package. The amount of product in this one is the amount of product that you, this is all out, is the amount of product that you would get in like a deluxe, like or a smaller size. And it's just, it's, 
This one is a little bit perf like this one has a little bit of a scent to it. None of the other Juvia skincare products has that. I think this product is amazing, but I think the size of this and the price of this is a little off. I'm not gonna lie, I think the packaging should be bigger. I think the packaging should be bigger, but I think the product in itself, it's a, it's a good product. It really is. I also have used up the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. This is not the first one of these I have used up. I think this is such a good product. This smells very fresh of oranges in a very nice way. I, I really like the scent of this one. This is a gel moisturizer. This is my preferred moisturizer. Um, when I want a gel moisturizer, I really, I really do enjoy this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm always like on the hunt for the perfect gel moisturizer. I think now that I am I'm moving to the States, I'm probably gonna buy the Tatcha Water Cream because I really enjoy that one as well. And then I'm gonna see which one I prefer the most. But I really like this one. And if you're looking for a good gel moisturizer, this one is really good. I do really recommend that one. I think it's really nice. Here is whoo, something else. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is so dusty. Don't look at that. This is Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. This one, um, I've used this one up as well. You can see how big this one is. The other one was so small, and it's not that affordable, the, the dubious skincare. So this one, I did a little spatulas in here as well. This one smells extremely like a lot and i'm the kind of person that kind of likes cleansing products that has a scent to it i like maybe that's why i wasn't in love with the hiram thing because it doesn't have a scent to it and i kind of like like cleansing things that has a scent to it i like the whole experience of it like you wash it off so it doesn't really matter that much this one smells so much though this one smells so much like it is so heavily perfumated and i'm just I don't, I don't know. I'm not about that. The product in itself, it's nice. It's not better. It's, it's not better than any other cleansing balm. And for that reason, I wouldn't pre-purchase this because of how heavily scented it is. I could see beyond that if I felt like it really did more than other cleansing balms. And I like the one, my favorite, I'm going to be honest. I haven't used that many though, but my favorite is the one from Sunday Riley, the Blue Moon one. It is expensive. I'm at my second one right now. That's the one I'm using right now. I really love it. I mean, it's my second now, so that means something, I guess. I really, really do enjoy it. Speaking of Sunday Riley, this is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. This is uh, fully through. I, I've gone through this one and I am on my second one because my friend Maggie, she actually sent me this one. She had gotten one in PR that she wasn't using, so she sent it to me and I am right now about 50% gone like through the, the second one. So this I liked enough to be able to buy another one. Am I gonna buy it again? I might because I really enjoyed this one works for me. For me this works. It makes my skin feel smooth and plump and just refreshed and yeah I really do enjoy it. I think this is really good. Like I said I've used this full one and I've used half of another one. I really enjoy it. This really like it resurfaces my skin without that like you don't have to have that like breaking in period. You know the period where your skin is all like flaky and, and irritated. This is mild enough so you see the results without that first period of where you have to get used to it. Didn't have to get used to this. It worked immediately. Um, not immediately but I didn't have that period where I felt like it just messed up my skin. I didn't have that. So that's that's really nice. I used up a perfume. This is the Giorgi Armani C. And this used to be my signature scent. And I like it. I really do like it. I don't think I'm going to repurchase. Main reason, I have so much perfume. This is a really, really nice, classy, sexy, feminine, but still powerful scent. And I think a lot of people would like this one. And that is why the scent, of course, has been a bestseller for years, to be honest. This was so popular when it came out, and I think it still is. But for me, I am, and I'm not saying this like, I'm not like other girls, but I am into more different or more unique or more exciting perfumes and for me this is a little too classic for what I'm going for right now but if you are looking for a nice classic perfume this is beautiful I really do like it but it's not the kind of perfume I reach for 
lately. Oh, there's another mascara here. This is the We Makeup More Mascara. This is the only thing I bought during Black Friday, and that is that I bought two tubes of this one. They had a 40% off. This is my favorite mascara that has volume and length, and also this is so dark. This has a little plastic uh, brush. I love plastic brushes. I think those are the best I said what I said. I like plastic brushes. This one is amazing. This one gives super black defined curled lashes. It gives some length but not as much length as the Sky High or the uh, Bad Gal Bag. But if I want to have really seen lashes, maybe not like voluminous as much as super defined and very black and very dramatic, this is the mascara I go for. I think it is absolutely incredible and yeah, this is the only thing I bought on Black Friday. Uh, I bought another one of those because, well, I bought two actually because I think it's so good. It's from the European indie brand We Makeup. Okay, what do I have here? I have two eyeshadow primers. This is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. I have it in the old packaging. This one is in light. It's one of those that you like, you twist and stuff comes out, well, no longer. And there's a brush tip applicator right now. It is uh, instead one of those that you dip in with a doe foot. I think it comes in at least two shades. I could definitely see myself repurchasing this, but I bought this from the Sephora Sweden website and they sent me the old packaging, even though this packaging is discontinued. So next time I buy this, I think I'm gonna buy it in store instead, but I think this eyeshadow primer is incredibly good. Really, really good eyeshadow primer. I also have the Sigma eyeshadow base primer. Uh, this one I actually used up today. I probably could dig out what's left in here, maybe, but like I couldn't at least draw on anymore. But this is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers for forever. Like is, I think this is like my fourth or something. Could even be my fifth. I think this is an amazing eyeshadow primer. I use it all the time. You paint it on and you blend it out with a brush or your finger. If you let it sit for just a little bit and make sure that you like don't use too much and blend out the creases before you go in with because it is so creamy that when you go in and you blend it out with your finger and you leave it for like a couple of minutes and then you go out and tap out the crease and let it set again if I do that I have no creasing the entire day it is just so beautiful it helps with like fading and creasing and all that I think it is an amazing eyeshadow pr uh, base primer and I have mine in ignite I'm pretty sure yeah and it does come in other colors as well both shimmery and matte this one is matte I love it I love it I have repurchased I've gotten more in PR I've used it so much I think it's amazing okay here are a couple things oh this one isn't necessarily out but this one dried out on me like so much that I can't use it. I've actually never, I've heard some people say that that has happened to them with the Colourpop gel liners, but it's never has with me, but this one did and I can't use it anymore. It's like an actual crayon. So I put it in the empties because I'm decluttering it. It is in Sulu. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, I have, I have Colourpop gel liners that are older than this one, didn't dry out, but this one did. I can't use it anymore, so I'm decluttering it. And then I have two of the House of Lashes lash glues. One of my favorite lash glues. My other favorite is this one. The Duo Lash Glue that is a green. Make sure it is the green. The blue one has latex in it, so for me, uh, the blue one makes my eyes run because I have um, I have a sensitivity towards latex. If you also have a sensitivity towards latex, try the green one. There's also a purple one that doesn't have latex in it, but that one sucks. Like, it doesn't work as a glue. Like, literally, it has one job that it fails at. Like, it doesn't work as a glue. So make sure you get the green one. The green one is the best one. The House of Lashes one is equally as good. And sometimes the green one is sold out. And then I buy the, buy the House of Lashes one instead. I think this one is really good. The only reason why I think the dual one is better than this one is that this one sometimes can be hard to remove. That doesn't really bother me that much. But I will say, the duo green one is the best one. I said what I said. Then there is a Colourpop Brow Boss Gel. This one is in light brown. This is the one that I have in my brows today as well. This is the one that I had before. I have another one that I have opened now. This is beautiful. The one that I'm using now is the third one. I mean, if something is a favorite, it's a favorite. It's just, it is what it is. I have been hearing some really good things about the what is it called? The Brow Lamination Gel by Patrick Toss. I think I'm gonna use that one, like I'm gonna try that one next. But I really do like this one. If you are looking for a good brow gel that is affordable, has some color, has nice hold, and a really good like small applicator, 
really really recommend this one the Colourpop Brow Boss Gel comes in different colors comes in the clear I'm pretty sure as well I really like it I've been using it for quite some time highly recommend it there is one thing left here and this is this is very unlike me to talk about this I usually do not talk about deodorants but I really wanted to talk about it not because this is the only deodorant I went through but I just recently went through this one this is from Rexona this is the motion sense bamboo I like something that has a bit of scent but not too much. This has a little bit of scent. One I'm having now is like cucumber or something. Again, a little bit of scent is nice. The reason why I want to mention this, because I went through this one like a couple of, like maybe a week ago and I changed, is that now we are moving to the US. I'm pretty sure that your deodorants don't look like this, right? With the ball, like with the liquid and the ball, like you have the one with the white one and the stick, right? I don't know how I feel about that. I prefer this kind of a deodorant because I think it's, it doesn't get so smeary, like it takes a couple of seconds longer to dry down. That's not a problem for me. I usually use deodorant after the shower. I go around before I put on my clothes. It doesn't matter to me that it takes like a minute or two to dry down. But I feel like the sticks, like they're smeary and it's so easy to get them on the clothes. Maybe this one isn't as nice to have on the go. I guess the stick is easier if you put on deodorant throughout the day. I never do that though. Please let me know. In your country, what is the what is the most popular form of deodorant? This is definitely the most popular form of deodorant in Sweden. It's actually quite hard to find deodorant sticks in Sweden. You can't find them, but this is the one that's offered like this kind of a packaging with a rollerball. That's the kind of packaging or like the kind of deodorant that is offered in most places in Sweden. Please let me know what it is in your country. Please let me know, because I am super intrigued to hear about it. I prefer this one, but I think it could also be that I'm used to this one. You know, sometimes what's what you know is what's the easiest and what's the most comfortable, but it might not be the best. And I'm open for I'm open for trying other ones. If you're living in the US and you have a favorite deodorant, please let me know about it. it does not have to be a natural deodorant. I am not allergic to aluminum and I don't believe that aluminum gives you cancer. So please, please give me suggestions of your uh, favorite deodorant. I am open for suggestions. Because I feel like I need to, I feel like I need to <laughs> Look into new options now that I'm moving. Those were my those were my empties. Please check out the description box for links to everything. If you thought like, what did she talk about? Like I couldn't hear her. It's gonna be in the description box together with what's on my face right now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, especially during this extremely stressful time. I'm gonna have a video tomorrow as well, which is gonna be get ready with me. It's gonna be the end of an era. Maybe I'll name it that. But it's basically gonna be like the last thing I film in this apartment, which is crazy, but yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye!